Hello, Baruz. Uh, my name is Greg. I'm very sorry you can't uh, hello, be. Greg. Hello. Sorry you cannot be here with us, or not able to come <laughs> here to be with us. It'd be a bit cooler yeah. here. Um, Honestly, I used to. Yeah. I just want to ask you, I just want to know, uh, how do you keep your spirits up? How do you stay positive there? Because five years is a long time. Can you see a future? Can you see a brighter future for yourself and your fellow prisoners? Yeah, actually, thank you very much. You know, uh, uh, actually, you know, I, I, I always say that each person on, uh, you know, it is clear in the book and other my works that each person on Manus Island uh, you know, created a way to survive. So my way to survive is to write and create artworks and uh, publish my articles and, you know, actually struggle against this uh, system and uh, I can say that I survive uh, through my uh, writings and my words and each person has a way some people just uh, you know do exercise some people they have uh, you know create a, like a relation with the nature or each person has a story to tell and has a, a way to survive so but uh, uh, regarding uh, you know our future actually uh, we are here for more than five years and you know lots of things happen in Australia we have experience uh, for prime ministers and two federal elections and we are close to another federal election on um, uh, next six months. So uh, I don't know. Actually, it is a main question that uh, we all think about to find an answer. But well, how many years we have to stay in this place, and how many years they have control on our life? So. I don't know, just we should be hopeful. It's really hard, but we should be hopeful. Um, you know, these days I ask from the Australian people in the events that please be active. Uh, if you care about humanity, if you care about human rights, uh, be active in the uh, federal election and to, you know, vote for those candidates that, uh, you know, care about us and because I believe that, you know, those people in Australia who stand up and who are against this system, they are actually are fighting, uh, you know, for themselves as well and for their children and for the next generation it's very important I believe that Australia deserves to uh, uh, you know another system another government not this government this government uh, doesn't care about the uh, Australian international reputation and uh, I believe that uh, people in Australia deserve a better government than another. So just we should wait for the election. Uh, thanks, Baruz, and thanks, Greg. Any other questions? Hi, Baruz. Uh, my name's Craig. Um, thank you very much for, for joining us today. Uh, it's great to see okay. your face. Uh, Look, the question that I have is, you know, it's common in prisons um, for the authorities in the prison to try to divide the inmates up so that rather than fighting against the system of the prison, they're fighting each other. Um, now, you're there with men from different countries, from different, diff different ethnic groups, different language groups. So I wonder, have you seen the authorities at, at Manus attempt to divide, place dividing lines between the inmates in the prison 
to keep keep you separated from one another or keep you uh, fighting one another instead of fighting the conditions that you're under. And, um, if so, have you have you found ways to bridge that that divide or those gaps um, in order to yeah, yeah. focus your energies? Yeah, thank you very much. You know, yeah, it's very great question, and you know, actually, a main part of this book is about this, and I try to describe the system to uh, you know, literary language, and uh, you know, uh, if you you know read the book, uh, you know, to in this way to find an answer for this question, definitely you can't find and uh, it's clear and you know uh, living in the prison is really hard it's really hard and living with uh, in a very small people uh, small place in a very small place with hundreds of men it's really hard it's really hard so uh, for a long time we didn't have a space you know private space and still still you know we cannot have a private space it's really hard so you know i always say that even people become tired from their wives or husbands uh, you know they cannot be uh, with uh, each other you know whole day and you know every day so sometimes they just they say okay i want to go to you know you know do this and i uh, so they become tired from each other so but it's not mean that they don't love each other and in this prison is like this you know we are hundreds uh, men and uh, of course it's really hard sometimes people get tired from each other because the system put people in a way that they should uh, know to you know, live in a competition to get food, to get, uh, you know, some simple things. And they, uh, you know, system design like this, system design like this. And, uh, you know, uh, actually we are in a different place right now, but that prison that I wrote this with, uh, we were four uh, uh, prison camps, Delta prison. Uh, yeah, like this, you know, <laughs> someone just they call me. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so we were, we, the, there were four uh, prison camp, Delta prison camp, uh, Oxford prison camp, uh, Oscar, the, yeah, and Mike. So we were separated from each other, you know, absolutely. We were separated from each other and they put hundreds of men in a very small place and just say without anything so you know you couldn't do anything just they say just you know, enjoy uh, each other and so it was really hard and i think it is clear in the book so uh, of course they always try to, to separate people and create hate among the men and make some difficulties in you know, our relation. And probably some people ask this question that why really they are doing this? Why uh, you know, they are doing this and they are torturing people in this way? Because they want to uh, people give up and go back to their country. So it is the main aim of the, you know, uh, this policy. Um, so, yeah, just they, they are, they try to uh, make this situation harder. So I think it's really hard. It's uh, unbelievable that how still for myself, I, uh, it's uh, very, you know, unbelievable that how I and all the people who could survive, although uh, seven people already died on Manus Island and five people on Nauru and another person in Christmas Island. So, and many people uh, damaged 
mentally and physically. And yeah, so still we are struggling. Thanks, Perus. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Perus. Thanks, Craig. Another question? For Perus, can anybody? Question, yeah, questions only. Hello, Mehrus. Uh, my name is Saleh. Uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm from Iran too. So, um, just uh, one question is that um, uh, we have a discussion with a colleague here right before the event to start to know if your book would be available also in Farsi. So, perhaps some message and some meanings has has been lost through translation, so we can read and understand your feeling much better or not. Yeah, uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, actually, um, for asking this question, many people ask me this question. Uh, you know, I wrote this book through, uh, 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 you know, my WhatsApp. So I send the, uh, uh, you know, so just we call it, and then publish it. So that's why I now have the Farsi version with myself. And uh, sometimes uh, I did, uh, you know, the editing again through my WhatsApp. And that's why I think if we publish this book in Farsi, I have to look at the, uh, you know, first I have to ask from my translator to give the, uh, you know, words and I should uh, look at them and compare it with the uh, English version because we edited some and we changed some, uh, you know, it was a long process. So uh, actually I think, uh, it will take a time, so right now I know half time. I, honestly, I am working on some different projects and also I am you know, focused on journalism works these days because uh, it's very important uh, moment for us. But uh, definitely on future, I will uh, go back to my writing and uh, I will work on them and publish it in person, but uh, not in Iran because uh, in Iran there is a censorship so I, system and I cannot publish it in Iran. So maybe yeah, in European countries. But uh, I have to yeah, get back to my writing and yeah, because we change a lot, a lot of things in the uh, writing. Uh, just to give you some hope, we have a candidate here staying with us today, Yvonne. Uh, she's a progressive and she's running for the election. So some hope is coming. Thank you. Oh, it's great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll just appropriate it. Hello, Barus. This is Bea here. Um, uh, it's very good to, to see you and be able to, to talk to you. I want to thank you for everything you do and everything you write. And I also want to tell you that some of us have actually seen. Uh, Chalka, please tell us the time. We had a screening here in Armadale, we, which we organized through Progressive Cinema. We can show it again if people are interested. And I agree that it's not just the men and families on, on Manus Island and Nauru, it's also this, this regime is doing something here to people in Australia as well. And it's a similar regime. I mean, we are not suffering the same way, but yeah. we're still being alienated from ourselves and from each other. And none of us will be free until we're all free and I will not give up and I know I'm not alone. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I am so glad that you already watched the movie uh, and uh, yeah, of course, you can uh, 
you know unfortunately you know i have i uh, you know i am not in australia to do planning i just i am here with a phone so just you know for this uh, uh, event uh, actually i didn't do anything just rebecca made contact with me and i said it's okay and we make this happen so uh, we need some people like uh, you know rebecca and people who made this event happen to you know uh, work on some events and you know, show the movie to people and uh, so uh, i am glad about that and just one thing about uh, your words is very important and actually i uh, uh, already published some articles about uh, manus theory that uh, that the best one is that i published on the saturday paper that i compare compare my book and this prison camp and this system with uh, a movie uh, i daniel blake which uh, you know, uh, which is belong to uh, ken Loach, the british uh, director it's it is so similar this book and this system with that movie and uh, of course in that movie we can see that uh, this there is the same regime. There is the same regime, and it is the actually Manus theory that how this regime uh, uh, forget about the vulnerable people in Australia. You know, I am watching Australia from this island, and you know we are here for more than five years. I can see it's uh, it is you know obviously I can see that how this regime in Australia is getting stronger and is destroying people in Australia and how the uh, homeless people, how the people with disability, how the uh, indigenous people, many people, you know, this regime is uh, make this situation harder for them. So I think the Manus prison system uh, is not a, uh, you know, separate, uh, you know, phenomenon from uh, Australia and of course it is part of Australia and it is a part of the clerical system thinking. <laughs>